Hi, Gemini. This is your... Okay, Gemini. <laughs> okay, Gemini, this is your channel messages for the 16th of November. I am your host, Vanessa Carby. I had to listen to the ending of SpongeBob, okay? SpongeBob Square. All right, Captain. All right, Captain. Who, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Gemini, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Oh, I'm sorry, this is your title messages for the oh, for the 16th of November. I am your host, Vanessa Carby. Gemini, we're going straight into your reading. Yes, Gemini. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I got distracted with SpongeBob. Square bands, the crusty crepe pizza is the pizza here for you and me. This is your getting over your ex. Is your ex shaped like SpongeBob? Mm -hmm. Why are you crying over your ex, Gemini? He's shaped like SpongeBob. She is shaped like SpongeBob. <laughs> Maybe she's shaped like Patrick, the blood clot star. I'm joking. I'm joking. <gasps> we love Patrick. Patrick have a spin-off. I never even know what these are. So SpongeBob, they, you're unreasonable people. You took away Teen Titans and you gave us Ben 10. Excuse me, we didn't take away Teen Titans and give you Ben 10. Listen, um, obviously the voice of Raven, Tara Strong, wanted something new and so did the people of the fucking Cartoon Network. Like, Teen Titans pervert, you're a fucking pervert. That's what you fucking liberals do. You gave us Teen Titans, then you took away Teen Titans, gave us Ben fucking 10. Did he have 10 women? No, he was a toddler. That's what he should have named 10 Ben Toddler. That's what the fuck he should have named, giving us it. And Ben 10 had a watch, remember? Remember Ben 10 had a watch with the alien and he was transforming the aliens? Cause Tara Strong worked on that same set. Tara Strong was the voice of my favorite character in Teen Titans, Raven, Azeroth, Methrion, Zinthus! Why was Raven with Beast Boy? And Starfire was with Robin. A lot of people thought Raven was going to be with Robin. No, no, no. <laughs> Two packs of sugar. Raven was with Beast Boy. Wasn't Beast Boy green? And he put a change of an animal? That was Raven, yeah. I and mean, Raven was together. Azirath Methrion. Anytime I'm sent on to me, but I say you need to do something, I'm going to be like Azirath Methrion Zinthus. Okay, let's go ahead and go into your reading. So, yeah. So, I don't know if you're finding a match, or maybe you were paired with somebody, Gemini, you weren't supposed to be paired with. Nevertheless, obviously, they're your ex now. Um, remember, Gemini, you had, they had to claim you for you to be their ex. You can't go up on a date with somebody and never work and say that is my ex. That is not your ex. That is a date that didn't work out. Stop it. Let's just go. So what lessons do you need to learn from this breakup, Gemini? We have the six of wands. So I'm getting the lesson I'm about leaving. No, I always see the six of wands of somebody just turning them back and walking away. Maybe this is your lesson. And not every girl that will stay with you, Gemini. And not every man that will put up with your things. No matter how pretty you are, no matter how much money you have. You're going to find somebody who love themselves more than them love you. And I'm going to leave. Because they see that they're not getting what they want. They may have go ahead and left a rich, wealthy businessman to marry the commoner that was working on the commonies. Because the six of swords give me a humbleness. You never want riches or fancy or anything. That's not what you were asking for. All you ask to be taken care of and to stop for the mind games to stop. And I'm getting it didn't stop so you left. Or Gemini, it doesn't matter if your mind games meant well. And not everybody are willing for, for deal with that. Not everybody likes to live in confusion, even though you do. What can you do to find peace right now? The Nine of Cups, I'm getting a drinking to find peace. And you might have a child in the house. Not saying anything wrong with that, I'm just saying be careful. Because you never know what kind of weird ass demonic entities can possess you when you're drunk. And then kids in the next room. 
how can you forgive yourself and your ex the two of swords you feel like you can't because you still don't know what's wrong you still didn't feel like it was worth them leaving you still didn't you felt like there was more to talk about if you did talk about it then everything would have been okay but i'm getting half of the time when you yeah, talk gemini you're drunk when will you be ready for your next relationship your next relationship is going to be a sagittarius so beautiful, so caring, so, so emancipated, so halal. It's a Sagittarius going to be your next relationship. Me getting this relationship going to sweep you by surprise. Me getting the first relationship, Gemini, the relationship that we're dealing with, you had to literally look for it, search for it, ask yourself, is this right, is this wrong, question it, go back and forth, weigh the pros and cons. Me getting, when the Sagittarius comes, I'm going to feel like an angel stepping in your life. I'm getting there will be no questions that you're asking that will be go unanswered. The Sagittarius have to answer everything for you. Or everything will seem right. With the Gemini, I bear confusion. You don't know if they like you or they don't like you. You don't know if they're with somebody else or not. No, Gemini, your opposite is Sagittarius, remember. So your high vibration would have been Sagittarius. Your low vibration is manipulation, um, talking, buying somebody back, spreading rumors, spreading lies, mental games. That's the low vibration of Gemini. The higher vibration of Gemini would have been Sagittarius, the philosopher, the one that goes out and seeks the answers. The one that knows that even though Jesus Christ was a so-called Messiah, he would still mingle with Mary Mandolin, the prostitute. So you're better than Jesus? This is what you tell oh, I did not see what was happening here. This is what you're telling me? You're telling me you're better than Jesus? Okay. So here we have the pastor thinking that he did not want to mingle with the prostitute. Then we had the, the holy man. The holy man of the other religion saying, I will not mingle with a fucking prostitute. I'll be damned if I fucking mingle with a fucking prostitute. Jesus Christ mingled with a prostitute. Are you saying that you are better than Jesus? This is what you're telling me. Oh, I never know that Sukiyana and you made a record together. I did not know you were better than Jesus. This is what you're telling me. Two pots of salt. This is what the fuck it sounds like, okay? Your next relationship is a Sagittarius, okay? He's going to sweep you off your feet. She's going to sweep you off your... And then everything is going to feel right, okay? It's going to be right. Now, how could you prepare for this? Ooh, ooh, everything just fell. And I've said this already. I'll say it again. i say it in my last video. I'll say it in this video again. Repeat it like a fucking parrot. Jesus Christ did not die for your sins. This is what bumble cloth people are telling you. That's why this whole I, I, I can't breathe movement starts and this whole movement, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, yeah, them I use people as sacrifice. So I don't know why your pastor tell us that Jesus Christ died for your sin. He never did die for your sin. He died for his. He died for his sins. And that's what the pastor tell you, when you're sinful and you follow up a sin, you just sacrifice a human. And that them I tell you, though, just kneel, want you, just kneel a person upon the cross. In a Jamaica, we will say, you see how you lie? You kneel up on the fucking cross and tell lie upon our land, our name. That is an expression we use in Jamaica. You kneel up to the fucking cross. Like you need Jesus. You crucified Christ for your blood clot sins. Because you didn't want to save your ass. Because you never want to answer to who you have answers to. You crucified Jesus. So that's why I don't go to church. Because church will tell us that Jesus Christ dead for your sins. Jesus never dead for my blood clot sins. He's dead for female. And I will be dead, died for mine. When judgment day come, um, Jesus, you think when judgment day come, I'm going to stand up there, you're going to be like, Vanessa, oh, your name's not on the list, but oh yeah, Jesus Christ did that, this this thing where he died for everybody, so everybody going to be saved, okay, go, even though you did this, you never repent, and you did this man, and you never get fuck alkaline, we don't even know if Jada Kingdom really did, fuck Jana, Dana, right, other than that, you can go through, because Jesus did die for your sins, I don't know what, tell us a human sacrifice is the way out, you might tell us a blood blood, human sacrifice is the way out, that's what they tell you. My church is my home. That's what you need to know. My church is not outside of my home. My church is not outside of my heart. Fool the church outside on a blood clot home and heart. That's why I'm just this way and I just go to church. 
So you can go there and you can continue to indoctrinate and blood clot cults, brainwash and blood clot kids and adults. And I don't give a fuck if I the poor blood clot involved too. Because I am, I am the blood clot hierophant. Jesus Christ never did fear blood clot since he did see one. So you expect his father to save you from your sins and he abandoned his son and did not save his son from his. And I saw it blood clot go. The Bible is the basic instruction before leaving earth. It is a book that I tell you about a prophecy that was fulfilled and it will keep be fulfilled in over and over again. When we tell lie upon my neighbor, when we cause blasphemy, when we commit adultery on people, I, Cassamba, I was in love with a married man, right? When you commit adultery, these are the things we are going to follow every human being in the life. That's what the Ten Commandments were. So you can go there and you can call me whatever you want to fuck you want to call me, okay? I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck, okay? Boo, fuck you, boo, fuck you. I don't give a boo, fuck you, my boo, fuck you. I don't give a fuck, right? You can't say anything you want to say about me. I know for a fact that I am not living my life knowing that another man took the fall for any sin that I committed in my life. I'm never take the fall for it. And that don't mean I am proud to go where I am going to be destined to go, whether that's heaven or hell. But what I can say is, um, me never sacrifice nobody else for the sin them or me did commit. Jesus don't go to the gates and take my blood clot sins from me at the pearly gates. And me have to go there and face it. Me have to look upon my life and see everything what me did do. Everybody me never help. Every time they turn my back on somebody. Every time somebody did end up do something to themselves because they felt a certain way and it wasn't clarified. I me have a seat. So you turn it and make your blood clot church, make your blood clot pastor, make your blood clot father or your big pussy mother tell you that Jesus Christ is dead for your sins. And that's because Jesus is dead for your sins, you can't fuck the girl who Muslim. Because Jesus is dead for your sins, because we did sacrifice Jesus for the sins that we never want to take um, fault for, you can't deal with a Jewish girl. Tan de de, tan de de, wolf in a sheep clothing anyway, and sometimes the wolf could have been the one who birthed you. Um, let us get some more and we'll leave this right here. So that is what it is, ho. What's up? Jesus need a little love. We have Guru. Sagittarius is the Guru also. So you can listen to your, your, your religious people who want to tell you things to make them go into the Holy Ghost so they can sleep better at night. Or you can listen to the fucking Guru. Because the guru don't pray and hope and wish and sing gospel hymns that they will go to heaven. The guru acts like they're already in heaven. They treat the people them around them as if they are already angels and they're already living in the holy paradise. Them no wait till heaven for, for treat people right. Them no wait for heaven to get donation. Them do it right here on earth. Your pastor wait for heaven for, for convert him life. He might wait till he reach heaven to start help every single body upon the road and give him money freely because he knows that Jesus Christ have him. Him not on that part of earth right now. Because he tell you that in order for your sins to go away, we have to sacrifice somebody else. Guru. The guru will never teach you that. The guru will tell you all man face judgment on them own. Pisces. The dream... Yeah, so if that was your dream, that's what your doctrine is, it ain't not no blood clot, Gosso. Talking about Jesus Christ dead for your blood clot sins. In dead for your sins. He, you, you never even, your mother and father never even meet when Jesus was being crucified. So I'm dead for your sin. He died for his sins. And you are the dead for yours. Underrated. For every evilness you did, for every person you never helped, for every time you turn your back by your family member, from every time you didn't see something and hush and never say nothing and make it go under the quiet, for every time you know you could have helped somebody you never helped, that is what you're going to be crucified on the cross for. Jesus now take it for you. He must show you the way of what happened to you because Jesus was made in the image of you. What the fuck is this? Initiation ritual. That's why enough of these celebrities go there and they'll be like, oh, my account got hacked. Oh, I never said that. Oh, this is the story. Can you want to sacrifice another Jesus for your blood clot sins? Tory Lanez was the Jesus that was sacrificed to Megan Stallion's lives. And that goes on every fucking day. But I'll tell you that you can call me what you want to call me, but you cannot call me a brainwashed person. 
Because I ain't going around telling no motherfucking body that Jesus Christ died for their sins. So it's okay. The world card. Virgo. And... Illuminati. Jesus Christ did not die for your sins. He died for his. Just like how you are dead for yours. And that is the so-called hmm, about the lemon Illuminati. Oh, you join Illuminati? You're in Illuminati? Why are you doing the Illuminati? Y'all don't even know what the fuck this really is. This is what the church don't tell you about. This is about it. This is who the church answer to. If you never fucking know. This is the Vatican. If you never blood clot know. So I said this a million times and I end it with this again. You can go around and calling people and demonizing people and acting like you are the prophet. You are the messenger. You are the chosen one. But let me tell you something. You'll never blood clot hear me say. You don't never hear me teach any kids. I never hear me have this blood clot conversation with people. For tell people that Jesus Christ is dead for my sins. Him never dead for my sins. Him show me what will happen when my life ever end or what I do to accumulate the sins that I have committed. Because everybody think Jesus Christ was a sinner. That's why they nail him on the cross and kill him. So, he did not die for my sins, did he? You want to church, go on. You want to praise God, go. Go on, my way, pint. You want to cook dinner here and you come back and I have dinner for your great. But what you will not do is disrespect me and tell me that the church is a place that you come to worship when I am worshiping the fact that a man was sacrificed so I could be here. What is in that? What is godly about that? What is godly about a sacrifice? Nothing. So stay in your lane. I'm going to leave it here until next time. Bye.